part I will be teaching will be this. So we firstly on the 10th fret of the 1st string and the 9th fret of the 1st string, okay, and then we make a, this shape which is if you bar your 7th fret all the way across and you fret your 9th fret on the 6th string and you play the 6th, 1st, 2nd and 3rd together. and then straight to the 10th fret on the 2nd string we play strings 1, 2, 3 again and then pause and then play the same again 1st, 2nd and 3rd instead of a pause you could play a slap um, which is just a percussive sound that um, Sung Ha makes with, with his hand by beating the strings onto the fretboard. Um, you could use your, I tend to use the, the knuckle of my thumb when I do these kind of slaps. Or you could use the, um, this part of your, these part of your fingers to make, make the slap. It depends what makes it easier for you. Um, I use my thumb because I can get to the, the next um, plug quicker. So it, if you're going to use this, like I say, you don't have to, you could just pause. Okay, that's how it sounds. So straight after the percussive sound, you play the sixth string, and then um, down to the seventh fret on the sixth string. So we've got, Again, 10th and 9th fret on the 1st string and then move things down to here which is you bar your 5th fret across and uh, you, you make the 7th fret on the 1st string. You play strings 6, 1 and 2 together and then 1 and 2 again but we're lifting your little finger off and then a percussive slap. So it's... This shape, which is fifth fret on the fifth first, sorry, fifth fret on the first string, seventh fret on both the second and third string, and play them together, and then the open sixth, and then open fourth. So we've got. first, second on the first, and then third on the first with third on the second, so, which are then two notes, with second fret on the sixth string as a root note. Okay, and then back to the second fret on the first, but playing it with the second string again. And then open the first and second string. Second and third together, and then second fret on the fourth, first and second together, then open fifth. Okay, that bit for now, so.
first and second together again with this first fret, sorry, first string fretted on the second. Next, um, straight after, we play the open fifth, hammer up to the second, hammer up to the fourth without plucking, and then the open fourth string. And then pause and then pluck on the sixth, open sixth. same this time it's uh, fifth and then first uh, sorry fifth and then second and third and then fourth on the second fret and then second and third and then open sixth and second and third again so we play the second time play it through. So you should have that section uh, now. The intro I'll teach you next. Um, I'll play it through. Firstly, you play open sixth and then harmonics on the five, four, three, two string. But you're on the seventh fret here. But you strum it like that. And then straight onto the second fret of the fifth string. And then another percussive slap. Adding in the open fifth and then sec uh, second on the fifth. Now, after playing that four times, we play three quick strokes on the second string, fretted on the third third fret. So it's straight away. Three strokes you could use um, your ring finger, uh, middle finger, and index finger. Like that, I found that difficult. You could use first, second, and first, or second, first, and second, which I use. It's important not to pause in between the stroke in the fifth string and the three notes on the second string. Um, it's easy to think of it that way where you've got to go straight into the... Because if there's any pause at all you'll get your timing wrong. So it's three strokes, slap, and then pick on the fifth again. Okay, then slap, open fifth, second on the fifth and then three strokes again. But this time moving down to the second fret on the second string. So then open second string. Okay, it's a matter of practice with this part, it's very difficult. Um, it took me a while to get but I'm gonna to have to move on to try and save time on this video. So that's how it goes.
Okay, now this um, apart from video one again, but we're going to make a few minor adjustments. They're not too important, so you can skip this part if, if you're getting tired of my voice, um, which I am at the moment. So um, it does sound a slight bit better though. So we're adding in a percussive slap in between the two strokes on the third string there. this bit. I did teach you in video one to play a hammer on and slide up to the four, hammer on to the second and slide up to the fourth fret on the fourth string but now I play just a hammer up pluck once. It's a minor difference it doesn't make too much uh, difference so I wouldn't worry too much about it if you if you're not inclined either way. So um, and then now, open first and fifth, and I play. I just play an extra stroke on the fourth before that bit. It makes it sound a bit fuller. And that that part, instead of playing an open fourth, and then slide up from the second to fourth, and I just play. 2nd fret on the 4th ok instead of it's a slight difference but I think it sounds a bit better and this part instead of pausing there and going back into the section we play an extra Okay. Now this bit instead of fifth and the fifth, fourth and the fourth, I now play open fourth and hammer onto the fourth. minor alteration is not going to make that much of a difference and so uh, the other part is a tricky bit every so often he plays that back into there so how he does this is second and the fourth on the fifth and then open fourth hammer up again to the second fret and the fourth fret and then it's second fret on the third to your last note so it's okay I practice that slowly to get the timing in my head what I had to do was think about it in two groups of four notes, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and, and try and kind of hear a beating head off the top of your foot, just so you can get the timing right. Okay, it's not easy that part. Um, so practice, practice, practice. Um, he only plays that a couple of times, or three times, um, every other time. So the very last part, the outro, um, which is just a slide up from um, second to fourth fret on the fourth string, and then play the third and sixth string together.
that's the lesson.